There's a language called brain f It's a real programming language, I swear. It's an esoteric programming language created in 1993 by Urban Mueller. It's not intended for practical use. I am curious to see C. So we're gonna do brain f which is supposed to be pretty slow. And we're gonna do C, which is the serious part of this video. And that one is a very low level language. And it's one of the fastest languages out there. Yes, people still use C and it's really fast. And we'll see how quickly that runs. I've got the MacBook Air M1 with 16 gigs of RAM. So not the base model. I've got the base model M2 MacBook Air, eight gigs of RAM and an upgraded MacBook Air M2 with 24 gigs of RAM and a base model MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip, 14 inch. Now I've recently discovered this benchmarking suite called Primes. It's by Plumber Software LLC, AKA this guy, Dave's Garage. So he's got a YouTube channel. He goes into a lot of detail about these language tests and he's created this repository that now has over 60 languages that you can test and race against each other. We should maybe collaborate or something. Now there's a lot of other people contributing languages and working on different solutions. So you get languages and you get algorithms and they all calculate prime numbers, which is a pretty good test. So I've cloned this repository locally and in order to run it, all you do is say make and then if you type that in and just run it, it's gonna build all of them, which is gonna take a while, but we wanna focus on brain f So I'm gonna say make directory prime brain f and then we pick the solution. In this case, there's only one solution. So we'll use that one. Now I do have the time command here, but the way this works is you get five seconds to see how many iterations of finding the prime numbers you can do in five seconds. So the time command doesn't really matter here, but I'll put it in anyway, why the heck not? And before I run this, um, any guesses out there? Which one of these machines is gonna be the fastest or I should say the slowest in doing brain f Write your comment down below and take a guess. No cheating, you can't delete or edit. All right, we're ready to go and let's go. <laughs> now this does have to build first and it's running on top of Docker inside a container. So it's going to grab the image, download it, but that's not part of the timing aspect of it. Once it's done that and it starts up, that's when it starts the timer. Docker is just there to be able to reproduce this test easily on multiple machines. Amazing. We actually have a winner by a long shot. This one is done and the other ones are still working at it. And we have a second finisher. This is the the M2 base model, and we have a third finisher, very close behind <laughs> the M1 Pro MacBook Pro. We're still waiting for the M1 MacBook Air. Finally, the M1 MacBook Air finished 10 minutes, 25 seconds there. So uh, in this case, the duration actually matters. Normally the way this test works is it, you get five seconds to see how many passes of uh, finding prime numbers you can do. But because brain is so slow, a language, it did one pass and the test had to get extended to accommodate it. So we did one pass on all these. Now the winner is, uh, well, the base model MacBook Air did that in 34.5 seconds. Then the upgraded MacBook Air M2, 34.6 seconds. And because it's a single threaded test, these were very close together. Makes sense, right? They have the same cores. It doesn't matter if it's a base model or it's got 24 gigs of RAM, they're pretty close together. And these two are also pretty close. We got the M1 and the M1 Pro. The cores are pretty much the same. We got 43.9 seconds on this one and 43.7 on this one. One iteration, come on. Let's see what one of the fastest languages does and that's C. And we're gonna do solution two. I'm gonna kick it off one at a time here. It's not really a race in this case. Okay, and we're all done here. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a single threaded test and a multi-threaded test, all part of this solution, which is pretty convenient. You get to see how C performs in both of these scenarios. So you'll see a table here as a result and single threaded table and a multi-threaded table. And uh, this is considerably different than brain f where we have, let's take this first labeled test right here, which had 49,796 passes in five seconds. Wow. So let's take that and compare it 
to the other folks over here. Because this is a single threaded test, these two M2 machines will probably be about equal. And sure enough, this one is at 49,827, very close. Now the M1 MacBook Air did this in 47,155, so a little bit less. And the MacBook Pro 47,417, not really an advantage there, that much of an advantage. Now let's look at the multi-threaded. And this one was a little surprising here because the MacBook Pro actually has six performance cores, whereas the MacBook Airs have four performance cores each and four efficiency cores. So they, they all have a total of eight. But this test probably focuses a little bit more on all the cores instead of just the performance cores because the two MacBook Airs with the M2 chips got 245,722 passes for this one, 245,365 passes for the base model. And that is more than the MacBook Pro with 230,487. And the one that got the least was the M1 MacBook Air, 203,349 over there. <laughs> Those are some huge numbers. That's how many times it calculated prime numbers from zero to a thousand in five seconds. All right, folks, it's been fun. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.